Hello, brother, brother, brother here. Welcome back to the UK campaign in 1930. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce my monthly spending on technology just briefly um, so that I'm still running a surplus because um, we're, we're, I've got one, two, three, four ships in for repairs and that is very, very expensive, but it's only for a month, so a temp temporary reduction in spending. And we'll do the battle and then I'll readjust it. We might be able to get some more ships under construction actually. Got another <laughs> another um, fight over in the Baltic Sea. I don't know how my in being ships that have just been ordered to sit around in port have managed to go all the way over to the Baltic Sea to attack a German convoy, but alright. Um, Cleopatra and Bulldog, who we've seen operating together before. Uh, that's pretty heavily defended. Hmm. We'll give it a go. Right. Where are the transports? They're the main targets. Right there. Okay. Torpedoes off. Now, Bulldog here is going to be very good at uh, killing those. Um, transports, I hope. It is a it is a nice little ship. It is a really nice little ship. I I, I do have a something of a something of a liking for these tiny little uh, destroyers getting assigned to one of those. Yeah, you've been assigned to a... To a <laughs> it's been assigned to the HMS Bulldog. They're actually quite expensive, 15.8 million. Um, I am enjoying them. They're nice, nice little ships. We'll, we'll close in. Get as close as we can to those transports. Whoa, that's a huge amount of damage. That's from the Bulldog. Bloody hell. One five-inch shell... Look at that transport. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked. It must have gone straight into the engine room or something. Not too worried about the enemy torpedoes unless I get stupidly close to the enemy. Because uh, they are quite visible. Very cheeky thing. So plenty of time to aim that torpedo. Oh fuck! No, I totally forgotten that the heavy cruiser could do that. Oh bulldog, I'm so sorry. You did do very well. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're gonna survive that. That is a lot of sinking. Oh no, Bulldog. I am so sorry. You're doing so well. Right, Cleopatra. See if you can uh, hit the Kaiser in. His nine inch guns aren't very nice. Waiting. Shoot. You're gonna miss your chance. Yep. Speed is off. Missed it. Right. Clue Petra. Guns on the mains. be able to shred them in short order. Whoa, the fuck? 
Where did that come from? Cleopatra shrugs it off like a pro. Where the hell did that come from? Must have come from the uh, heavy cruiser, who I'm going to have words with uh, in a minute. Sorry, Cleopatra. I was not expecting that. I menace those heavy cruisers. B-15 doesn't have any... Uh, torpedoes left. The v Spartan over there has a million. I need to kill, I think, three of the transports before I can uh, call it a day. How did the Friedrich de Grosse not sink? Damn it. This has been a bit of a balls up. try and talk me. Can you please get to pumping the water out? Well, all the engines work. Don't believe those two are red sectors. That one might be, actually. I think these ones are. We'll so surely pump that one out. the other transport. Just unlucky ships today or is it me just being bad? the transport. Oh my word. Hooray! Right. Friedrich the Grosser, if you if you could, you know. In fact, if you have a torpedo, you can shoot that as well. Thank you. Not sure how well uh, transports are at avoiding torpedoes. 
And this is complete overkill. It looks like the Germans are headed away. That's not a great engage, but you know the Kaiserin is pretty pretty badly damaged. His bottom's obviously fine. They lost the destroyer. I lost the destroyer, and I have a pretty beaten up light cruiser. Not the best, but uh, it's okay, I suppose. You know they got more victory points than I did. Lost more crew though. Probably because of the transports. Hmm. Alas, poor Bulldog. I'm very sorry about that. She was a good little ship. Uh, yeah, let's. Ooh, I definitely need some more destroyers. Let's build another five. Should still be positive finances. Yep. Uh, and let's get let's get another light cruiser on the go. They do take a lot longer, just over a year. But uh, the destroyers are relatively quick. Yeah, Cleopatra is going to be out for four months. Ugh. We still have green green crews everywhere. That's why I'm keeping them. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.